Hey everyone, thanks for checking out Armatist Reviews. Today we're going to be reviewing the Dagger Defense DD102R Red Dot Sight. All right, so first things first, I did pay for this with my own money, um, and it was actually an open box purchase. Um, so it was discounted pretty decently, I believe, if I remember correctly, I paid $15 shipped for this. Uh, normally goes for about 25 on Amazon, brand new. Um, I didn't notice, and I still haven't noticed, um, a single scratch, um, any kind of blemishes or anything on it, it works fine. So, not sure why it was returned, uh, why it's considered open box, but saved me money, so um, I'm all for it. So, in the box, which I have misplaced, so I can't show it to you, um, it comes with a uh, little rubber cover that goes over the lens there, um, which is nice, so if you want to have that on there for transporting, kind of helps protect that glass. Um, it does also come with a CR2032 uh, battery uh, in the box, as, long, as well as the Allen key you need to um, take it on and off your, your weapon. And the battery um, is just right here on top of the uh, brightness dial. So it's really easy to change. Um, you don't have to take the optic off to change or anything like that. So very nice, very convenient in case you need to change it. Um, this isn't really an optic for the, where the battery's gonna last 50,000 hours on, um, but if you do need to change that battery, it's very easy to get to. And it does also come with a lens cloth to clean it if uh, if you want to have that carried around. It is made of uh, aircraft grade aluminum. Um, it has a little, just a basic uh, clamping system. Um, kind of the clamps come out and you tighten down the, uh, the bolts here and it just kind of clamps around the Picatinny rail. Um, pretty basic, it's not like a quick uh, disconnect or anything on this model um, but uh, just just very basic it does have a 30 uh, millimeter aperture which I feel is plenty big for you know something like this if you're gonna be using it in combat obviously this is not the optic for you this is a budget-friendly um, just need an optic on a, a basic rifle blinking things like that this is not combat optic by any means then they don't pretend to be um, it is targeted to be a budget optic but that aperture um, is it's plenty big. Um, I didn't notice any problems with it, especially with it being so slim around the, the edges and everything. Um, it's uh, it's a very nice, nice optic. Now it does have um, four different uh, reticle types. Okay, so the first one we have um, is kind of a kind of a plus sign um, that then has a, a dot in the center. Um, just probably make it a little bit easier to to see your dot um, if you if you need it for like kind of a close up shot. Um, and then you switch this little lever over and you have just a plus uh, plus kind of sign. And then the next one is a, uh, a circle, uh, like a ring, and then a dot in the center of that. And then you have just a plain old, just single dot, nothing else um, for kind of more precise shooting if you, if you need to. And then it does have about seven different brightness levels and then an off position. And in the daylight, it was it was bright. You could see it pretty easily. Um, if it's like midday, you know, noon, uh, very bright. Uh, I do wish it was just a tad brighter, but uh, it's still pretty good. Um, my buddy has one of the Bushnell TRS 25s, and I don't know if he has a bad model or what, because a lot of people say it's very bright. Um, but his is just with a new battery. It's just dim. Like you cannot see it in the daylight. Same thing with my Vortex Gen 1 uh, Strike Fire. It uh. It's also just not that bright in, in midday sun. So um, I didn't notice too much of a problem. You know, could have been brighter, but it was still very noticeable um, with the Stagger Defense uh, optic. As you can see, I mean, it's pretty low profile. It's uh, it's not a very big optic. So if you want something that's that's not huge, doesn't stick out, you know, just kind of gives you something to, to aim with, but doesn't cause too much of an obstruction of your view. It needs something that's very budget friendly. So this is a great optic. Right here, you have your up and down, 
your elevation adjustment. And then here on the left side, if you're looking through the reticle, um, you have your windage uh, left and right uh, adjustments. It's a very solid feeling optic, especially for 15 to 25 bucks, depending on how and when you get it. Um, it it's a great optic for plinking. It's a budget friendly optic. This is not made for competitions necessarily, um, although it may do just fine there. Um, definitely not a, a combat intended optic, which I feel like is pretty obvious based on the price. So overall, I do really like this optic for the money, especially the 15 bucks I paid because it was a uh, blemish. Uh, great optic, been shooting with it. Um, I, this bay, this resides on my MMP, uh, my Smith & Wesson MMP 22 uh, rifle that you guys uh, saw in the beginning of the video. Um, that's the kind of stuff this is probably intended for, a little 22 rifle, Ruger 10 22s, whatever. Um, should, should be just fine on AR, but I haven't tested the recoil of it. Um, I think it holds up just fine though. Um, but very good optic, as long as you use it for what it's intended for. So uh, take that for what you will. Um, I did pay for this myself. Wasn't paid to say anything great about it. I think the dagger defense stuff is pretty good for budget friendly. Uh, Budget-friendly sites, optics, I have a bunch of their stuff. I hope that was helpful, guys. Need a budget-friendly optic. I think this is a great option. There are other great options out there as well. Um, but uh, I definitely wouldn't hesitate to pick another one of these up. I have a few of them already. Um, so yeah, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, and I'll do my best to answer them. Uh, if you want to see future content from me, um, I do uh, giveaways every once in a while. Probably do one here pretty soon in the near future. Be sure to check out the links in the description below. I have some things down there you might like. Um, and help support the channel. Thanks for watching guys, take care.